the subject we discussed uh, the impact of technology on uh, the modern family and in post uh, covid era the screen time is very much increased and if you go through the researches uh, done by unicef or some other uh, international uh, institutions they tell us that after you see covid-19 the world has changed and our students our kids they have been very much busy with digital gadgets applications softwares and after ai technology everything is trans transformed into the new world so first of all uh, we must uh, understand it that after industrial technological and digital revolution and especially in post uh, colonial period most of the islamic organizations paid attention to achieve the islamic state and they did not pay heed on the muslim societies and if you go through the text of the glorious quran and the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wa alihi wasallam we come to know that there are so many places in the quran where allah uh, emphasized to save your families to protect your families as i recited a verse in the very beginning uh, of our program that allah says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara o who believed allah almighty is talking to muslims allah says o you who believed protect yourselves and your families from the fire whose fuel is the people and stones so it means it is an obligatory act and join upon us by almighty allah and his prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to protect your families there is a saying of hazrat saad bin abi waqas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says kunna nu'allimu auladana maghazi ya rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam kama nu'allimuhum as-surata min al-qur'an we used to teach and tell our students our kids the war stories of prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam as we taught them some verses from the glorious quran so you see what is the importance of storytelling in the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions number 2 uh, the educational system in islam culminates with uh, four basic things number 1 is knowledge number 2 is tarbiya number 3 is educate or adab and number 4 is tazkiya you see once hazrat abdullah bin abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was sitting on the lap of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and at that time at the time of uh, taking meal rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam advised hazrat abdullah bin abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu kul mimma yalika whenever you are going to start your, food, your 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 meal he told and advised that you have to recite bismillahir rahmanir rahim and then he advised him that eat from what is near you you see this is tarbiya hazrat abdullah bin abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was on the lap of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we have to pay heed on how to impart knowledge how can we do tarbiya for for kids and how can we uh, teach them adab or educate and what measures should be taken for tazkiya and spiritualization of the heart of our youth and our family members there is another important thing that we have to work for uh, the ethical spiritual and intellectual physical and aesthetical dimensions of our kids most of us um, we just pay heed on uh, the physical dimension but we do not uh, pay heed and attention on their intellectual and spiritual dimension uh, the muslim family comes into being with the contract of nikah this is very important family comes into being 
with the contract of nikah and with this contract which is uh, one sort of ibadah and worship in islam so we have certain uh, uh, you see rights and responsibilities both on father and mother and if you ask me what is the ideology of family in islam uh, the answer lies in another question what is the purpose of your life so the quran says wama khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa liya'budun that almighty allah did not create us whether we are jinn or we are a human being almighty allah created us so that we may worship him and the philosophy of worship in islam does not confine only to the masajid or the khanqa or any place of worship but the philosophy of worship in islam uh, you see it extends to each and every sphere of our life and therefore if you uh, uh, you see recite the verses of the holy quran only 500 verses discuss what are ahkam and injunctions enjoined upon you by almighty god and there are eight major parts of islamic jurisprudence fiqh al ibadat fiqh al muamlat fiqh al usra and fiqh al ta'amul al ijtima'i when you are talking how to perform ibadat what are the rights and responsibilities as a family member and how do you deal with your muamlat and especially the economics uh, you see is to be introduced there and likewise what is your social behavior how do you uh, act in a society and likewise there are four major other chapters which are to be discussed in uh, when you are talking about the uh, you see the, 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 the states what should be the substantive law what are the procedural laws what are the criminal codes and how do you define the internations and international law so the ideology of family is that as a muslim we see this world in the perspective of akhirah we believe in akhirah we determine our good and evil in the light of the revelation revealed from almighty god and as a muslim we see that a human being is a creation man is creation we are abdullah in relationship with god we are abdullah and in relationship with the universe we are the voices to almighty god and i would like to end this session on uh, some of the verses of the glorious quran and these are verses revealed by almighty allah in surah luqman and it is a very beautiful advice done by Hazrat Luqman salam, and there are so many scholars they consider that Luqman salam, was a prophet one of the mightiest messenger from Almighty God and he is advising to his, his child his name was Saran وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ Allah says and remember when Luqman said to his son while advising him وَهُوَ يَعِزُهُ it means it is your responsibility to advise your sons and your daughters ya bunayya o my dear son la tushrik billah never associate anything with allah it means the very first advice you are going to do your kid is how to protect their beliefs their faith in the shirk al zulm al azim and later Allah says that Luqman alayhi salam advised his son Ya bunayya innaha in takum mithqala habbatim min khardal fatakun fi sakhratin aw fi samawati aw fi al-ard yati biha Allah Very important Luqman added Oh my dear son even if a deed were the weight of a mustard seed mustard seed but it be it hidden in a rock or in the heavens or the earth Allah will bring it forth Surely Allah is most latif and khabir, all-knowing. We can advise our children, our parents can advise us that even if you are going to erase the watch history from your 
your mobile phones or your laptops or your gadgets keep it in your mind that the history which is being recorded by the angels who are with you at at at, at all times that is not erased and allah the almighty knows each and everything so we have to install a software into the minds and hearts of our kids that Allah is watching us. Ya bunayya aqim is salah, O my dear son, establish prayer. As Dr. Saab told us, that our kids stare at us, they learn by examples. So, Ya bunayya, establish prayers. وَأْمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Encourage what is good وَنْهَا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And forbid what is evil If your kid is going to encourage what is good And is going to forbid and prohibit what is evil It means he is going to abstain himself from what is bad And he is going to practice whatever has been enjoined by Almighty Allah And his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا أَصَابَكْ And surely whenever you are going to call people towards Islam What will happen? They will create some problems and hurdles in your way So endure patiently whatever befalls you إِنَّ ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ And surely this is a resolve to aspire to. And do not turn your nose up nor walk pridefully upon the earth. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ كُلَّ مُخْتَالٍ فَخُورٍ And surely Allah does not like whoever is arrogant and boastful. وَقْسِدْ فِي مَشْيِكْ And be moderate in your pace. وَقْضُدْ مِنْ سَوْتِكْ And lower your voice. إِنَّ أَنْكَرَ الْأَصْوَاتِ لَسَوْتُ الْحَمِيرِ For the ugliest of all voices is certainly the brain of donkeys. May Allah the Almighty give us power to have the intimate knowledge of Islam. And may He protect our families. And may He give us power to convey and disseminate the message of Islam to each and every corner of the world. That was the legacy which was left behind by His Eminence, uh, Shah Abdul Alim Siddiqui Rahmatullah Alayhi, Hazrat Maulana Shah Ahmad Nurani Rahmatullah Alayhi, and uh, the man who inspired me a lot, His Eminence, Dr. Fazlur Rahman Al Ansari uh, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi.